in the last video we talked about signaling server let's now understand in detail how this signaling server is actually going to work in our application so here we have two users user a and user b they want to communicate with each other and let's now understand step by step what is going to happen exactly first of all user a is going to send a request to user b that wants to connect but it cannot happen directly because they are not yet connected okay there is no direct connection between them but there is one thing common between them both of them are going to be connected to a signaling server okay so when this user a wants to call user b then he is going to emit an event to the signaling server then the signaling server is going to tell user b that user a would like to call you and if this user is actually and if this user is available at that moment then an event will be sent back okay then in this way the user b is going to tell user a that he is available to connect over call okay and that's when they are going to fetch their sdp information and ice candidate and what is this sdp info and ice candidate this is actually the networking information and information about their browser that they are going to get from the stan server okay so there will be one more step but i have not shown that over here but they are going to get this information called sdp info and ice candidate from stan server then they will be exchanging that again through this signaling server okay so this is how they are going to exchange that information again and after uh, negotiation okay these two browsers their browsers are going to confirm that now they are ready to connect okay and that's when user a and user b are going to be connected directly and that is what we call live direct peer to peer connection in which they will be able to share audio and video stream okay and our audio video call will be happening there so this is how the signaling server is going to act inside of our application this is the purpose of signaling server i hope so this is the importance of signaling server inside our application let's now discuss what is stun server in the next video